Welcome to our lecture online. Before we can continue with the trying to understand how the lower atmosphere is heated up by the greenhouse gases, we need to understand the concept of the lapse rate. We've seen in the previous video that the average surface temperature of the Earth is around 15 degrees Celsius, which is about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. We also know that at the, at the top of the troposphere, when we get to the tropopause, the temperature is about minus 60 degrees centigrade, which is about minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And then going higher than that, when we get into the stratosphere, then we realize the temperature begins to increase again because that's the region where the ozone layer absorbs the UVB radiation such that by the time we get to the top of the stratosphere, the temperature reaches almost zero degrees centigrade, which being that high up, about 30 miles up, that's quite a warm temperature for that elevation. But we're going to concentrate on the troposphere right here and realizing how the temperature declines with increasing elevation. Now the height of the troposphere varies a lot from where we are on the surface of the Earth and it varies also depending upon the season. Typically the troposphere is about seven kilometers high, about six to seven kilometers high, four miles at the polar regions and as much as 16 kilometers high near the equator. Also the top of the troposphere tends to be higher in summer and lower in the winter time. But the temperature at the top of the troposphere tends to be pretty close to minus 60 degrees Celsius for most of the time. There are times that sometimes the temperature is a little bit warmer there, a little bit colder, but that's, it's fairly steady. And so if we assume that the distance to the, tropos the, to the top of the troposphere is about 10 kilometers, then when we take the difference between the temperature over here and the temperature over there, we realize that the lapse rate, which means the change in the temperature with gaining elevation, is about 6.5 degrees, or I should say negative 6.5 degrees Celsius for every kilometer of height gained, for every 1,000 meter gained. Now if we assume that the top of the troposphere is about 11 kilometers, which is kind of an average, then we can see that 11 times uh, uh, 6.5 would give us about 71 degrees or something like that and you can see yeah that's very close to the difference between the average temperature here and the temperature at the top of the troposphere. Of course we realize that depending upon where we are on the earth that's going to look a little bit different so it's not a, a fixed number there's a lot of changes to that depending upon the time of the year and whereabouts of the uh, on the around the earth that we are. But what it's all about here is that we realize that the lower portion of the troposphere is where the vast majority of the energy is absorbed that is radiated from the surface of the Earth at the frequencies and wavelengths that the greenhouse gases can absorb. Now the primary greenhouse gases are water vapor and carbon dioxide, but we still have nitrous oxide, methane and ozone, among some other things that also absorb it to some extent. Obviously these are the two primary gases that heat up the lower, the lower troposphere. Now if that energy couldn't go anywhere, it would stay here, then this would heat up an enormous amount and then just above it would be icy cold. We wouldn't see this gradual change in the temperature. But what we see happening is that this heat slowly migrates itself higher and higher and higher and as it migrates higher and higher and begins to heat up this portion of the troposphere, it does get colder and colder because as we go higher up, it's very cold up there and we see this temperature gradient. And so when we talk about the lapse rate, it's really the resulting of the heat moving slowly up the troposphere. If it, did, if it did it very quickly, then all this heat would go very quickly up here and it would stay very cold down here. The fact that it does it very slowly makes it much warmer here because before the heat can be gotten rid of, it heats up the lower tros troposphere and very slowly leaks its way up to, the, up to higher and higher and higher elevations and that's what's causing this lapse rate right here. If this happened much more quickly, it would be very cold here. If it ha happened even more slowly, then it would even heat up even more here because then the maximum temperature during the day would be reached far into the day because very little heat would actually manage to escape into higher elevations. So it's kind of the balance between how much heat can be held back and how much heat slowly moves its way up into the, into the, tropos, uh, into the higher regions of the troposphere. So that's really the concept of the greenhouse effect and it's what keeps us nice and warm near the surface of the earth. We're going to look at that in a little bit more detail, but that's ultimately what is happening understanding what the lapse rate is and knowing how the temperature changes as we go higher and higher up in elevation 
will help us determine the, the rate at which heat moves into the higher elevations before it gets so high up into the atmosphere. By the time we reach the top of the, the, the uh, stratos, the, not the stratosphere, but the troposphere, then the, then the energy will almost uh, be, be almost free to be radiated out into space and can no longer be held back, back by the uh, greenhouse gases here because they will then drop to a level of density where they simply cannot can no longer be effective. They're most effective down here, and as you go higher up, the effectivity decreases, and the energy begins to move through the troposphere faster and faster and faster, and eventually gets radiated into the atmosphere. So that's the concept of the lapse rate, and it will help us figure out how the heat moves through the stratosphere, and then we'll, we'll be able to calculate how the heat, how the lower, lower troposphere stays at a particular temperature as it heats up during the day and then cools down during the night as no more heat is added and the rest of the energy slowly then leaks up into space. And that's the concept of how we stay warm in the lower troposphere.